हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो हेयर आई एम बैक विद माई अनदर वीडियो ग्राफ्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स पार्ट थ्री बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली विजिट माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द अनदर पार्ट इजिली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल अबाउट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डायग्राम टाइम बेस्ड लाइन डायग्राम बार डायग्राम एंड पार डायग्राम so we'll start from time based line diagram a picture which is drawn by connecting individual data points which makes a structure like slope in this type of diagram x axis denotes independent variable that is time and y axis denote dependent variable that is distance such diagrams are used in aviation industry to plot flights or in scientific research to present effects in respective distance over time the example of time based line diagram is given below bar diagram and its type the bar graph is a chart that uses bars to show comparisons between categories of data there will be two axes in bar graph one will describe the types of categories being compared and other will have numerical values the bars can be either horizontal and vertical bar graphs with vertical bars are sometimes called vertical bar diagram thus by comparing height and length of bars a comparison can be made of the values of each section So now we will move further on types of bar diagram. Number 1, simple bar diagram. Simple bar diagram consists of vertical or horizontal bars of equal width. The length of bars is taken proportionately to the magnitude of the values represented. The width of bars has no significance. Vertical bars are used to represent quantitative data whereas the horizontal bars are represented for qualitative data number 2 clustered bar diagram clustered bar diagram is also known as multiple bar diagram it is used to represent the related sets of data as the data increases it is more difficult to understand this type of diagram works best in situations where data points are limited each bar is colored differently for better understanding The example of clustered bar diagram is given below. Number 3 divided bar diagram. In a divided bar diagram a bar is divided into several segments to represent a set of quantities according to the different portions of total amount. to create proper visual effect and help comparison each division of bar is colored differently and values which it represents are indicated the example of divided bar diagram is given below now we will move further to aspects to be considered while drawing a bar diagram number 1 The width of the bars does not represent any data and hence all bars should be of equal width. Number 2. The length of the respective bars should be proportional to the value of the variable which they represent. Number 3. The distance between all bars should be equal and that should also be maintained between the first bar and the origin. Number 4 all bars rest on the same line are called the base which usually coincides with the x axis Number 5 
all vertical bars should be arranged from left to right in order of the data series therefore the bar representing the first data in the series is drawn first near the point of the origin now we will learn pie diagram A pie diagram is a circular chart which is divided into sectors in which area of each sector represents the size of data. It is also known as circle graph. As we all know the entire circle represents 360 degree to make these types of diagrams the data represents 360 degree and divisions of the data are represented by dividing the circle in degrees proportional to each data section formula for obtaining a proportionate degree for a component of data the formula is degree is is equals to component value upon total value into 360 example of pie diagram and its calculation is given below so now we will move further to the aspects to be considered while drawing a pie diagram number 1 360 degrees make a circle number 2 degrees for subdivisions are calculated in proportion to the value of the variable for that division and the sum total of the degrees of all such subdivisions must be 360 degree number 3 if relevant data is to be compared across regions or time periods then two pie diagrams can be drawn side by side for a data set with a smaller total value a circle with smaller dimensions is drawn and for a data set with larger total value a circle with bigger dimensions is drawn thank you for watching our video if you like our video so please give me a thumbs up and share our video to your friends and relatives Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for regular notifications. If you have any query regarding study material so please comment below and let us know how can we help you.